With the upcoming Mortal Kombat, set to release April 16th on HBO Max, it has re-inspired hope for future video game properties to transition to the big screen. While there are many popular games, it has become less common for them to have fully in-depth stories, heavily focusing on multiplayer and microtransaction-fueled grind-heavy gameplay. However, for the story-focused games, we have seen a few in recent times make the leap to live action, but in a streaming series rather than big-budget summer blockbuster style. So that got us thinking over here at Fat Ninja Studios of some of our favorite video game franchises that would just be ripe for the silver screen. From all genres, ranging from fighter games to survival horror, to deep RPGs and action-packed shoot-'em-ups. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and get ready to blast your way to the top of the leaderboards as we tackle 12 video game film adaptations that need to happen. Possible spoiler warning ahead. Number 1. Lost Planet Think Starship Troopers, but on an icy planet engaging in battle with humans in giant mech suits. Taking place on the planet Eden 3, after the Earth's conditions became uninhabitable due to global warming, pollution, war, and overpopulation. In efforts to colonize the planet Eden 3, the mega corporation known as Nebek is suddenly attacked by an aggressive and territorial insect species named the Acrid, who contain a valuable resource in their bodies, thermal energy. Over the course of 150 years, they attempt to exterminate the Acrid, ultimately failing until the protagonist, Wayne Holden, one of the Snow Pirates, confronts the corporation in attempts to colonize the planet for his people. This leads to an all-out war for survival of the fittest. With the improvements in both CGI and practical effects, large-scale battles between giant insects and crazy militaristic space vehicles would be a feast for the eyes. There's danger, there's horror, there's adventure, all wrapped up in a very human sci-fi plot. Number 2. Gears of War On a far-off planet resembling Earth, a war-torn populace experiences one of the deadliest onslaughts. But they don't invade from the sky, instead they emerge from beneath the streets. Giant monstrosities and hordes of soldiers going by the name Locust. Gears of War takes every machismo 1980s testosterone-fueled war cliché and mashes them together in an all-out battle for survival with gruesome enemies using unique weapons, like the iconic Lancer, a machine gun with a chainsaw wrapped around the barrel. It follows four main characters, Marcus, Dom, Baird, and Cole, who have been drafted into the COG, which stands for a coalition of organized governments, during the previous pendulum wars which engulfed their society. After Emergence Day, Marcus is freed from prison and once again put on active duty under the leadership of General Hoffman. Hoffman devises a plan to find the Central Hive and wipe out their enemies. This sets them on a series of misadventures, where they lose friends along the way in bombastic last damn battle scenarios. If out to the big screen, it could be an explosive, gory ride filled with thrills and kills to quench that destructive thirst. Too bad Arnold Schwarzenegger is in his 90s. However, he could still take on the role of Hoffman. Number 3. Halo Years ago, Peter Jackson of the Lord of the Rings fame tried to bring this series to the big screen and blew way past his budget, ultimately killing the project. However, nowadays, with studios willing to sink in hundreds of millions of dollars into major movie franchises, Halo could once again be resurrected from the dead. Halo centers around the Master Chief, originally a faceless and voiceless character. However, he was created by the Spartan program to be a super soldier to take on an intergalactic foe called the Covenant. The Covenant comprises multiple alien races, believing in a pseudo-religious hierarchy and determined to bring all other races under its umbrella. Halo unfolds like a massive space opera, revealing ancient races and far-off distant worlds, and could easily rival the Star Wars universe in both scale and scope. 
While Halo may have started as a pioneering shooter on the original Xbox, it has become much more through books, comics, animated shows, and more. Number 4. Metal Gear Solid A sweeping espionage thriller set in the world of spy agencies, world-scale wars, and terrorist groups. This series of games has so much history that they could easily make their own cinematic universe. But even if they only decide to make one film, the PlayStation 1 epic Metal Gear Solid has one of the most heartfelt, nail-biting, action-packed stories which could have crowds cheering for the main hero Solid Snake by the time the credits roll, and introduce a whole new generation to the legacy game franchise created by Hideo Kojima. MGS follows titular Solid Snake as he is tasked with infiltrating Shadow Moses Island, an ex-military base deep in the heart of Alaska. He is sent there to rescue a few kidnapped heads of state and find out if the terrorist group holding them hostage has nuclear capabilities. However, what he discovers goes much more beyond his mission, including finding out the origins of the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake, who is his twin brother! The plot virtually unfolds like a 007 novel, into a world of intrigue and political nefariousness. With the right direction and a solid cast, this could easily spawn into its own franchise of espionage thrillers. Number 5. Dead Space Inspired by many sci-fi horror films such as Alien, Event Horizon, and The Thing, its cinematic appeal is evident with every step you take aboard the USG Ishimura and encounter the various horrors, all through the eyes of protagonist Isaac Clarke. Sent to repair the Planet Cracker class starship after communications broke down, Isaac and a team of engineers and soldiers are trapped after the ship suffers damage upon contact with the mining ship. As they venture further towards the bridge control room, they soon discover not all is as it seems. After bringing an ancient relic on board, deftly named the Marker, a curse of sorts took over the crew and transformed them into terrifying monstrosities called necromorphs, which have grotesquely mutated limbs and tear apart any living person they come across. Isaac is cut off from his crew, trekking through desolate corridors to get the power back on and escape the ship, until finally coming face to face with the Lovecraftian horror that is responsible for all of the chaos. Eerie, gory, tense, with the right writer and director, this could be a Halloween treat, scaring everyone who ever thought of going to space. Number 6. Legend of Zelda There are many entries into the Legend of Zelda series, each with their own unique alternate reality takes on the adventures of the young elf boy named Link. Almost all of them boil down to Link stopping the evil Ganondorf from taking over the world and rescuing Princess Zelda. What makes this an exciting idea to translate to the big screen are all of the unique characters, monsters, and settings. There's a chance to cast some well-known but irritatingly voiced actors in the world of Navi or Tingle, for example. Imagine having Patton Oswalt bring Tingle to life on the screen. Or hearing, listen, over and over from Jennifer Tilly or Rebel Wilson. With each of the games being a unique adventure, there are many viable possibilities for the first film. The question we pose to you, dear viewer, which one do you think should be first? Number 7. Mass Effect A blend of Star Trek and War of the Worlds, Mass Effect and its universe are rich with alien cultures and lore, and the overall story is a tale as old as time, an ancient, alien, godlike race bent on wiping out our galaxy. Mass Effect follows Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance as he is sent on an intergalactic mission to stop a rogue Spectre agent after a human colony was attacked on Eden Prime. Throughout his investigations, he visits many strange worlds, 
and uncovers a myth about an ancient alien race called the Reapers, which every 50,000 years come and set the reset button on the Milky Way galaxy. He in turn discovers Siren, a spectre terrorist who has been indoctrinated by this alien race to prepare for their arrival. During a final assault on the Citadel, the central space station for the Galactic Council, Shepard puts a stop to Siren and warns the Council once again that a bigger threat is on its way. There are three main games in the franchise so far, detailing Commander Shepard's exploits which could make for an excellent trilogy of films. Each film would bring us closer to the final invasion of the Reapers, much like the Lord of the Rings trilogy brought us the battle with Sauron and his forces. With heartfelt characters and epic space battles, this could easily be a chart-topping summer blockbuster cinematic experience. Number 8, Dark Souls. This entry will be a little different from the others, in that I think this one would be better in a large-scale Japanese anime-style film rather than live-action. However, since we are planning live-action adaptations, the world of Dark Souls is much more in line with medieval fantasy horror uh, than any other genre. Each entry in the series takes place in a new age built upon the ruins of a time forgotten. Dark Souls follows an unnamed and resurrected protagonist as they are put on a quest to restore the balance between dark and light. The lore of Dark Souls states that magic corrupted those in power, seeking immortality and control of all life. The villains in Dark Souls, albeit monstrous and mutated, are not all in actuality evil, yet the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Very few medieval fantasy movies dive into true horror aspects, instead sticking to more traditional storytelling structures. This is where Dark Souls differs in that it explores the realm of fantasy more akin to science fiction with alternate realities and insane interdimensional concepts. Surely a challenge to translate to the big screen, there is enough lore in the Dark Souls series to create an original story for the big screen. Number 9, Bioshock. At one point attached to director Guillermo del Toro, the film quietly subsided into the abyss. However, I believe it's time for Rapture to surface once more. A city built by mad scientists on the ocean floor, where genetic experiments are encouraged and run rampant, and a lone plane crash survivor looking for a way out. But there's a twist. Was he brought here by accident? Or were events manipulated to get him to restore life in the once bustling city of madness. Bioshock is a steampunk science fiction thrill ride, featuring genetically enhanced superpowers and terrifying mutant human aberrations. One of the coolest concepts in Bioshock are the Big Daddies, previously human civilians who have been repurposed in a pseudo cyborg protectorate role with the task of protecting these little girls who are dispersed throughout the city to retrieve plasmid infused DNA. With a sweet 1960s mad scientist vibe, this could easily stand apart from most modern day science fiction offerings, which are usually more cyberpunk influenced. Maybe they'll even give Guillermo del Toro another crack at it. Number 10, Final Fantasy. There are now 15 entries into the long-running Final Fantasy series, not to mention the many side stories and spin-offs. With that being said, almost any of them could easily be brought full scale to the big screen and have fans orgasming when they see their favorite characters fully realized. From epic battles to large emotionally character-driven plots, Final Fantasy could almost launch a new genre in film history with its influences of fantasy, cyberpunk, sci-fi, steampunk, and noir stories. The real question is, do we adapt one of the hundred hour long games into a singular film, or do we create a brand new story within the confines of the Final Fantasy atmosphere? 
Given the length of most of the games, it would be a disservice to try to cram everything into two hours. That doesn't mean we can't see our favorite heroes and villains make new appearances in new storylines and see some of our favorite worlds brought to life. Number 11, Mega Man. The Blue Bomber, charging up his Mega Buster and disintegrating evil robots to save his city. With help from his trusty Robo Pooch Rush and the scientist who created him, Dr. Light. Now, if that doesn't sound like a whole lot of butt kicking explosive fun, then I don't know what to tell you. Mega Man takes place in the not too distant future where an evil mad scientist, Dr. Wily, has unleashed multiple deadly robots trying to take over the world. Each of these robots has a unique ability, and every time Mega Man defeats one, he's able to gain that power and use it to put a stop to Dr. Wily's shenanigans. A film that would be more family friendly, it would be interesting to see who would take on the role of Mega Man himself. Who would you like to see as a little blue sentinel? Number 12, Fallout. War, war never changes. The opening line to many of the releases in the Fallout series capitalizes what the games are ultimately about. Surviving after a world-ending nuclear war, trekking the wasteland and scavenging for whatever valuables you can find so you can trade them for food and other amenities in these small outposts scattered about. Personally, I would like to see Fallout 3 adapted to the silver screen, as its location is incredibly iconic. It follows a vault dweller leaving Vault 101 for the first time in 200 years and encountering a strange, almost alien world. Most of the planet has somewhat recovered from the nuclear war at this point, but there are still massively irradiated zones and mutated creatures roaming the landscape. Our hero comes across a shantytown named Megaton, built around an unexploded atom bomb. It is here where our protagonist comes across a much larger plot involving the course of humanity. What will be interesting to see in a film adaptation is the moral choices our main characters will have to make in order for them to survive in this world. In this world, there is no such thing as pure good or pure evil. Regardless, seeing a wasteland version of Washington DC will be epic all on its own. FATALITY So, what did you guys think of our list? We tried to limit it to games that haven't had a previous adaptation, otherwise we definitely would have thrown in Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and Doom on here as well as those franchises deserve to have a proper film representation. Also, honorable mentions go out to Half-Life and God of War, which could easily be as bombastically badass on the big screen. I'm a horror fan by nature, so I definitely enjoy seeing Dead Space and Bioshock done with its full ambience and interesting characters, hopefully directed by a proven master of horror. Regardless, I think I speak for a large group for saying it's okay to take some creative liberties while translating a 40 plus hour game to a 2-3 to three hour film as long as the storyline keeps the intent and atmosphere of the game it's based on, relatively following the storyline and then it'll stand out. Who knows, there are a few upcoming films based on video games releasing in the next year or two, such as Uncharted, a Sonic sequel, and even the limited series of The Last of Us. So if all goes well, we could see some great turnouts. Books have always been a great source for films, and with the MCU, so have comic books. So why not video games? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, share the video with friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, KO that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. We do have a Patreon, and we realize that we provided an incorrect link in our previous videos, However, if you'd like to donate, the new link will be provided in the description below. You can reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, and also chat with us on Discord, link also below. We thank all of you for checking us out, 
and a warm welcome to our new subscribers! Feel free to comment down below. Just remember, please be civil. Before I go, I'd just like to say, while escaping into a fantasy reality, whether it be video games, movies, comics, or books, don't forget to come up for air once in a while. It can be healing to take some time out from life, especially with how intense it has been lately. But you can't stop existing altogether either. There are people who care about you and need you. Thank you for your time. I've been Jackie Kay for Fat Ninja Studios, getting ready to defend the Earth once again from invaders of Outworld. Fight! <laughs>